Hey nurse besties, it's Portia back with another video. Um, I passed my med dose calculations in pharmacology class. I'm so excited. Um, man, I think I finished that class a month and a half, two months. I don't know, I have to look back and check, but that class was... It was like information overload, not gonna lie. But I do have some background in pharmacology. I did, well, I was in a program like years 2012, right after high school. I did farm tech program. Um, I have a sister who's in pharmacy, and I still got my brands and generics built in my head. Like, I still know these meds, which is crazy. And she quizzes me all the time, and I still actually knew them. But med dose was kind of hard for me in the beginning. Mm, I like math to a certain. So yeah, I just checked. Um, I started the class. I activated it um, December 21st, 2024. And I finished it. I took my pharmacology um, OA um, January 30th. So like a month and a week. I mean, a month and a half. I don't know. Like a month and a week right because 21 and then another week so i'll say five weeks um yeah so farm dosage i use i like him a lot i'm gonna link him in the description um rn kid i think that's his name i like how he bro broke down the flow rates and how um the drops per minute how he um broke it down into three steps i like that because that's how i remembered how to do it and of course the dimensional analysis that's always a good so another thing with the um this program well this class farm and med dose they just changed it so it's no longer like separated like farm and dosage it's all one OA now, so I can't really, I guess I can't really help the new people who are going to be taking this program um, further in the future because I don't know what that entails, but for the old program, well, not the old program, but the old course, we had to do two PAs for med dose and an OA, two PAs for pharmacology and an OA, so you're literally taking like six things, but I think that's actually cool that you can knock out one away with farm and med dose. And I think it it was um, 85 questions for that OA. So, so with that being said, um, yeah, I encourage you guys to go to the Facebook groups on um, RNBSN, WGU, RN um, pre-licensure and you guys could like you know talk to people who are in the new course and they can help you and people who took the OA before you they literally did it January 5th so you could connect with them and they can help you like what's on there so but tips for farm is picturize you can still use that um, I think it's called picturize it's on YouTube and they literally talk about the meds use pictures and videos it's pretty cute um but yeah that helps a med dose just practice 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 i was doing practice um questions like all day i was doing like 50 questions a day probably like when i could yeah so i do recommend that um i don't know so my nursing journey so far i'm just i got foundations of nursing left I already passed my um, PA, but I did unfortunately fail my OA, my first attempt, and I went through a whole remediation plan. They send you quizzes and extra things to, um, you gotta send back to the clinical well, instructor, and I completed that today. She sent it back, she said I got a 97, so now I'm just, waiting to be approved to take my second attempt i do have to attend five live cohorts which is kind of annoying but i get it they try to set you up for success which i like um so i already did one i have four more to go i have another one coming up this week um but yeah so i'm working on that and then i'll be done i'll be done early yeah so i do the cohorts um 
you have to be compliant so compliance is where before you go to clinicals you have to get your titers you got to get your put your insurance in your CPR um, what else your drug tests I'm in North Carolina so I just purchased my North Carolina package tracking package for my um, titers and my drug test I gotta I'm gonna do that tomorrow my term is set to end April 30th for all my classes um, but it's looking like I'm gonna be done two months early so I plan on challenging the CNA test with North Carolina if you um, take foundations of nursing or you're in an accredited nursing program you can take the exam I used to be a CNA but I have my license expired. so all these things you have to do to make sure you're compliant so you can be able to do clinicals so it's going by so fast I literally just started in November and I'm just like ah like everything is just it's just rolling is going um so I'm gonna yes yeah, so I'm gonna renew my CNA license so I can do this nurse extern um, program that I want to apply for you have to have your CNA one or two um yeah I just want extra experience good for my resume um units that I want to work in is L&D um mother baby NICU um I aspire to be a nurse practitioner um either an, an NP, which is needle natal practitioner, or a woman's health nurse practitioner, or even get my midwifery. I wanna stay within that. Like I really have a passion for moms, babies, children, all the things. I love all my kids. I I just love my journey, my pregnancy. I am I always a high risk pregnancy. So I wanna kinda work with high risk moms. So maybe do like maternal fetal medicine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So I think that's all I have. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please um, comment below. Um, thank you guys for following me, following my journey and subscribing and liking everything. It really helps and your comments help me. And let me know that I'm actually helping you guys. And um, yeah, um, I'll let you guys know anything that else changes within the program. And I'll link everything in the description. You guys have a blessed week.